So it's not finished yet, but you can kind of get the general idea. Um, there'll be a lot of lightning and sound and smoke and wow. electricity and color, and it won't be transparent. So It looks fantastic anyway. That's really cool. Thanks. Hey, uh, Grace, just so you know, Avengers Earth's Mighty Heroes comes back to Disney XD this weekend, so you should probably get that in the watcher. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ben, Ben, can you do me a favor and look this over? Okay, what is this? It's my resume. I'm going to apply to the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, and I could use an objective opinion. Okay, Grace, the first thing I feel I should point out is you know you're a real person, right? But a highly animated one. Fair enough. Also, they're taking on Ultron in these upcoming episodes, and I figure they can use all the help they can get. Grace, you don't, you don't have any superpowers. But I have super knowledge of the Marvel Universe. For instance, I've been covering the Thor movie for about a month now, and in the May 15th episode, Thor goes against the casket of the ancient winters. Huh? See? Note my years of experience reading and writing comics, plus my recent status as a Marvel insider. And then for heroic experience, I went to space camp where I won the Right Stuff Award. Really? Oh yeah, this ain't from the prop department. This is real. I'm gonna pop this baby in the envelope for proof. Well, that's a, that's a good idea, but you know what would really help? A letter of recommendation. Hmm. All right, here it goes. Fingers crossed. Hmm. Well, I wait to hear back about my application. Here are my top three picks of the comics hitting stands this coming Wednesday, May 18th. First up, who says dreams can't come true? Alpha Flight is back, starting with this point one issue written by Greg Pak and Fred Van Lente with art by Ben Oliver. You won't want to miss it, eh? Next is another blast from the past with X-Men Giant Size Number 1, written by my hero Christopher Yost with art by Paco Medina and Dalibor Talajnik. Cyclops has a terrible secret buried deep within his psyche, which is about to see the light of day. Finally, check out Invincible Iron Man Number 504, written by Matt Fraction with art by Salvador La Roca. This issue sees Tony Stark visiting the City of Lights. Ooh, actually make that City of Stone. But he's not the only one in town as he encounters one of... The Worthy. That was fast. Oh, wow. Oh, doo -doo. oh look, official letterhead. Oh, it's okay. <clears throat> Dear Miss Randolph, we here at the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes were most impressed with your resume and a recommendation from none other than Mr. Yost. Therefore, we have voted to make you an honorary human member of the team. Oh, 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 for insurance reasons, obviously you would not be able to join us in the field. Hmm. But we look forward to having you act as an advisor from Avengers Mansion. See you on May 15th. I'll be there. Oh, okay. All right. So who do you think I should advise the Avengers is their biggest threat in the upcoming episodes? The Casket of Ancient Winters or Ultron? I'm leaning towards Ultron, but I could use your input. So leave it in the comments down below. And that's it for this week's Watcher. I'm Grace Randolph, newly minted human advisor to the Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Marvel, your universe.